We begin tonight with breaking news and a tragedy on Cape Cod. A young child killed in this explosion. I'm David Wade. I'm Lisa Hughes. This is an eight-year-old boy who was playing in a shed behind his house in Hyannis when it blew up. Let's get right to Katie Brace, who joins us live in Hyannis with the story. Katie? And Lisa, you can see investigators are still here on the street. And a young boy, as you mentioned, was killed when the shed he was in went up in flames. And witnesses tell me several kids were playing in and around the shed at the time of the fire. Now families dealing with the loss of a child. Witnesses describe two powerful explosions from a backyard shed in Hyannis. John Aguirre had seen several kids playing in the backyard and rushed to his next door neighbor's house. As soon as we got about 15 feet of another explosion, and it just kept us, it was just like, was like this. The heat just went over my face. It broke, you know, it just sends you, it just sends your, 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 your hair on your arms. He says the fire was too hot. The second explosion pushed him back. So intense. It just kept bringing the flames me in and just pushed the, the heat kept getting hotter, hotter. And it ended anyway, up being way back here. We were hoping he wasn't in there, but the, from what I hear, he was, I don't know, he was only seven, eight years old. The district attorney confirms an eight year old boy was killed. He lives at this home on Hinkley Road. The mom was in the house at the time. It's very hysterical on the ground and running around and trying to get back there. Witnesses say four children were playing in and around the shed Monday evening when it went up in flames. Fire investigators say at this time they do not know how it started and what exactly was kept in the shed. Most likely, as I say, it's just a very tragic accident. A tragic accident that brought family members rushing to comfort a mother consumed with grief. And investigators question the kids tonight. They say they will question them again tomorrow. Now, the district attorney would not elaborate on any injuries that the other kids suffered, and he would also not reveal the name of the child out of deference to the family. Born live in Hyannis, Katie Brace, WBZ News.